Hi, my name is Kimberly Wolf. As a mom, I am really careful of what my children watch. I have two little girls, Gabby who's 12 and Josie is 8. Before I had Josie, I banned Dora the Explorer in my house. This might sound silly, because you may be telling yourself, isn't Dora the Explorer supposed to be a kid's show? Yes it is, but I have banned it from an experience I will never forget. It was around Christmas of 2013 and Gabby was two years old. She usually liked G Disney Junior, which had Stoff, Doc McStuffins and Sophia the First, her two favorite shows. Almost every day though, she would turn to Nick Jr. and watch Dora when her favorite shows weren't on. Since she watched Dora on a daily basis, I probably thought she would like a Dora DVD. Since my husband was at home and I wanted to be quick, I decided to go to Cumberland Farms. If you don't know about this chain, it's like a convenience store and the nearest one to me has the DVD rack. I looked for the DVDs until finally I found one. It had a normal cover which said, Dora the Explorer Map Adventures. What I learned from that was that the cover was normal, but the disc wasn't. On Christmas Eve, we had our Christmas party and we've had every year. When we opened our presents, Gabby got the Dora DVD I got for her. She thanked me for it, but she didn't watch it until Christmas Day. So now Gabby had all of her presents from Santa Claus opened. I think it was before dinner she watched it. She had her own DVD player in her TV, so I popped the DVD into the player and left her to watch it. When she came out of the room, she said, Mommy, Daddy, Dora's scary. I don't want to see her. As my brother always assume everything she said he says is right, he unsurprisingly said, Honey, it probably was nothing. But I could see it in her eyes. She looked pale like snow and her eyes were very tired. Her lips were dry. She looked exactly as if she had a fever. Don't worry, Gabby. There is nothing to be scared about. Lay in bed and rest for a while. But there was something to be scared about. Dora's real life. I took the DVD out of the DVD player and sent Gabby to bed. Hmm, I wondered. What is so bad about a DVD that says Map Adventures? Well, I was to find out. At 10 p.m., it came to my conclusion to test the video, even though I considered smashing it up for a while. But anyway, I found a portable DVD player I got from Amazon and put the DVD in there. But before I actually did, I examined the DVD. It was a DVD that you use to record things or burn other videos on. It was labeled Dora's Real Life with red marker. Why is this not a Dora DVD? I whispered to myself. Anyway, I put it on the player. The DVD started and showed the Paramount Video logo. The difference was that it had a fanfare instead of being silent. It was the DVD logo was. I like to hum the fanfare, so I did. It seemed to get off key at the end. Okay, that was creepy. I thought. Anyway, it had the Nick Jr. logo, which made me jump. Guess what it was? The orange Nick mercilessly beating the blue Jr., who might in the right minds would do this. Did they think that this is child abuse as a joke? The theme song started, but as the theme song came, came earlier in the episodes, but with many changes, the song sounded completely fine, but there were a lot of changes. The French doors were browned and open with creaking noise, and the, the arts and crafts table had a sign saying, I have no one to talk to. Help me. The room was dimly lidded, so the orange cushion was replaced with some kind of dark shadow, possibly lastly. The computer was an old white 80s or 90s computer instead of a green one. The Dora computer game it had everyone except Dora, which made me feel uneasy. Then it was showed the logo. Dora looked depressed. She pretended to smile, but her eyes told her everything, almost like an expression of someone about to hang herself. The episode started with a text saying, Margarita Maza de Drosis, Chapalgachinto, Corrado, Mexico. It's featured an orange Mediterranean looking home, which I assume it was Dora's. It seemed rusty and boarded up, and the broken toys scattered around the floor. It zoomed in onto a front window that featured a messy bedroom, 
with a chipped up wallpaper. The bed had unkept Dora with crazy hair. She woke up and said, Orla, soy Dora. And then she pulled out a stuffed mo toy monkey that resembled Boots and said, And I'm Boots. Boots was actually a stuffed animal? Dora continued on. I need your help. Will you help me find something to do? You will? Come on, vamanos. Let's go. Then after she got downstairs, she told her parents she was exploring, but they didn't answer. Dora just continued and said, I think I know where we can go, Boots. Where? To the big city. But Dora, how do we get to the big city? Let's stop and think. Who do we ask for help when we don't know which way to go? Same map. Same map. Dora pulled out a scribbled piece of paper, and Dora imitated a map saying we have to cross the troll bridge, go to the spooky forest, and finally to the big city. Then as usual, Map told me to say it with him. Just like regularly, Dora then repeated the destinations, and then she said Vominos, and then she whispered, whispered, Lord, please help me change this world. Amen. Dora walks for a few yards, then stops and asks where the troll bridge is. Although there is no bridge, she randomly goes to a path and says gracias and vomitos. She then sings to her where are we going song while walking down a hill. She randomly stops and says, we made it to the troll bridge. Suddenly an old homeless man on the screen was with Dora. He looks to be in his late 60s, very filthy with a long fuzzy white beard, then says to Dora, do you have some money? Dora then beams and says, hola, grumpy old troll, what's your riddle? Then the ma'am says, what the hell are you saying, girl? Why do you always have to do this to me every day? Dora is obviously confused and says, thanks for letting me over your bridge, grumpy old troll. The old man then says, burn in hell, bitch. Then Dora asks where the spooky forest is, Thank you, and says Vominos. Then she sings. This is when things got even worse. The streets get more polluted and you can see more graffiti and gangs. Dora stops and says, We made it to the spooky forest. Be careful, there could be spooky bats and witches. Suddenly a random man came up and said, Get out of my fucking way or I'll cut your throat and burn your family. Dora then says in a very scared, Swiper, no swiping. Swiper then shoved Dora in her boot stall was sent flying. Dora's knees were gushing blood from scraping on the concrete, and Boots had a tear in him. Dora mimicked Boots as saying, ouch, and then she needed her backpack to help Boots. She then got out her purple dirty backpack and said the thing's backpack would get a bandage and said, yum, 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 delicioso. After that, a strip of conflict, Dora says, has... I feel so alone. Should I end it? What is life? She then started to tear up and suddenly cry. While walking to the big city, when she finally got to the big city, she was extremely worn out. Her eyes were red from crying. She had blisters on her knees from Swiper's attacks. Her boots doggled was dirtier. She then said in a depressed voice, We made it to the big city. We did it. Dora tried to use, sing her usual trademark We Did It song, but failed miserably due to depression. She said, What was your favorite part? I didn't like any parts. I thought to myself, Dora then walks up to the screen and says, I need to confess, your adventures with me were never true. Boots was my stuffed animal all my life. The troll is a homeless man who begs for money, not riddles. Swiper is a man who wants to kill me. And the others, they were never real. I never had friends. I had to make up my own. So I found you guys. We did everything. Until now, I can't expo floor with you guys anymore. I'm sorry. I couldn't have done it, making friends without you. Thanks for helping. The screen stays black for a while, and I was about to eject the DVD until the screen faded and read three days later. It faded to a forest that revealed to be one tree. You could see Lee see a decayed Dora with intestines dangled grotesquely in real fashion. Blue colored figure, fingers, scrouch out eyes, and, and disgustingly real features. 
The boot stall was near a tree, and he had many rips on his fabric, and stuffing was popping out. On a note, it said, This actually took me a bit longer to translate, as the note was torn in many places. Anyways, the note had translated to, The Lord has saved me from this bad death of hell, which it was death. Death is your only escape. The picture got more distorted until the scene changed to a newscast saying, Earlier this week, a seven-year-old girl named Dora Margriguez was found on a noose in the forest of coastal Mexico, revealing to have commit and life. Beside her was her stuffed monkey and a note. She was a star of the beloved children's show, Dora the Explorer. We all will miss her dearly in our hearts. The odd thing that was the news report which was a man and a woman that sounded like Tom Tucker and Diane Simmons from Family Guy. Then the screen fades out from the beginning to the computer. The computer turned off by itself, and the camera panned to reveal a coffin bed behind the computer. The camera zoomed out. There were earlier shadow that was where Bootstall was. A skeleton hand grabbed the sign from earlier and took it off the note, and then the doors closed with the hand when the sign came back and says, Death is your only escape. The words echoed in my mind. The screen then faded to black and that was it. I kept the DVD in my closet and I still kept it there today to my two, so my two children don't see it. But anyways, I burnt the video onto my computer and emailed Viacom saying how inappropriate it was to make an animation like that of a children's cartoon. I also attached the video to the email. They actually told me that they made it in March of 2001 on the 7th of March because they were having a secret plans to make it into an adult parody cartoon like Ren and Stempy's Fate was, but it got cancelled due to a negative response from test viewers. So, now you know why I banned Dora the Explorer in my house.